Hey, students! Look where I am. This is episode four of Hey, Students. Today, we're gonna do some fun stuff. I'm gonna show you a little bit about one of my favorite things to do, which is writing music into Finale, which is a program on the computer. Um, and yeah, we might do some other random little things. We're here in my classroom. It's gonna look a little different. You'll see, you'll see when you get here. I'm excited. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Finale. So this is another little hobby of mine, inputting music into the computer or writing music or arranging music. I'm using composition tools in the computer. So we're gonna do, a lot of that this year actually using flat.io which some of you have already seen this program is a program called finale it is a professional music notation software that I bought when I was a freshman at BYU that was in 2003 were you guys born then how, how long ago was that you guys weren't even born then <laughs> And I took a class in college on how to use Finale and really enjoyed it. So I want to show you my little station. This is just at my desk and you guys who come into my classroom see this almost every day. But I kind of want to show you what I'm doing here. This is my setup when I work at school, which is the most efficient for me. So I plug in to the huge TV we have in our room and I have my little laptop. And then I use this MIDI keyboard that hooks into the computer. And then I also like to use these wireless keyboards and my wireless mouse so that I can control stuff. So up on the big screen, what I'm actually doing is I'm taking excerpts from music that's already written um, and I'm inputting this. So I'm looking closely at this and trying to make all of these musical notes and articulations and dynamics and trying to put those into the computer. I like to put it on the big screen like this so I can see really closely what I'm doing. I work on this computer. So I've got my MIDI keyboard. I've got my wireless keyboard, my wireless mouse. There are a lot of different ways to input music into a program like this like Finale. The way that I like to use when I have the MIDI keyboard is called Speedy Entry. And the way it works, you push the pitch that you want. That's the pitch and the rhythm or the note value. So how long the note's gonna be is these numbers up here at the top. So what I have to do is I have to click into the program to tell it where we're gonna put these notes. I'm gonna push a D. And then I know the five is a quarter note, so I just tap five and then a D comes up on there. If I wanna do an E quarter note, I press E and then quarter note. So if I wanna do the melody to Ode to Joy, just doing quarter notes. So we play F sharp and I press five, then another one and then a G, A, A, G, F sharp, E, D, but then I have all the music written down in here and it's just really quick. Another thing I've been doing a lot lately, not just copying music into Finale, but also arranging music. So arranging is when you take a pre-existing melody and you arrange it for a different situation. So it could be for a bunch of different reasons. Usually when I'm doing arranging, it's usually because I'm taking a melody and I'm making it playable by middle school students in an orchestra. So I'm, I'm changing the instrumentation so it has violins, violas, cellos, bass. And I'm also sometimes making it a little bit easier so that my beginning orchestra or maybe even sometimes my chamber orchestra can play it. So arranging, it's when you're changing existing music. So it's not that you've written the music, you're not the composer, you're arranging it so that um, it can be played by a different ensemble or a different instrument or by different age groups or something like that. No, I just have a good time using this program, putting in the, the notes and putting in all the rhythms and, and articulations, dynamics, and all the little markings and stuff. To me, it's fun to do that. You guys know Mr. Tsai. Oh, oh. Tsai Laoshi. Tsai Laoshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just hanging out here at the school getting ready for you kids to come back. We have a bunch of bad cases that I have got replaced with these new ones. So these are now nice. Now, none of our school instruments have a bad case now, or hopefully. And here are all the bad ones. Both my wife and I are musicians. When we had a child, we decided that we would raise him right and give all of his stuffed animals composer names so that he can learn the composers. Because what child doesn't need to know the names of a bunch of old classical composers that have already passed away? Here are the names of some of our composer stuffed animals. This one is Piazzolla Bear, Cacciatorian the Cat, Schoenberg, Mazursky, Granger, Copeland, Saison, Ravel, Rogers and Hammerstein, Creepy Bear, because he looks creepy. I will find you and I will get you. <laughs> so this is kind of 
cool. The band I play in, Utah Premier Brass, we're meeting together at a park. We're so far from each other, but we're gonna play. It's gonna be cool. This is fun. I miss playing my instrument. <laughs> I miss playing. There's Mr. Smith. Say hi, Mr. Smith. Hello. Look who else we have with us, Mr. Vana. Yes. Look at that shiny instrument. Ooh. Almost <laughs> as beautiful as a cello. <laughs> nice. I love this piece. so fun digging it go so my family is at thanksgiving point we came to the what is this place called farm country they have these kennels with little goats and cows and stuff i feel like i should pay attention to how they built this so that i can make my minecraft world a little bit more accurate hey little guy This is just like feeding sheep in Minecraft when they're eating. Mm, it's making me hungry. It makes me want to have some. Can I have some of your hay? Mmm, chicken. I kind of want to do like like a staring contest. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Students, that's it. Another week has gone by. Teachers start our meetings this uh, this upcoming week. So for me, the summer is basically over, but you guys will be in the schools the week after. I'm excited to see you. Like I said last time, be kind, be nice. One way to think about how to be kind is to assume the good in people and doubt the bad. What that means is when something happens and you're like, what, what is going on? Why did they say that? Or why did they do that? You could come up with a bunch of scenarios of why they did that. And it could be, oh, they were mean. They wanted to be mean to me or they're jerks or they're stupid. Or you could think, well, maybe they're having a bad day or maybe they didn't understand or maybe they didn't see me. So try, if you have a bunch of options of what could have happened, try to assume the good in them rather than assuming the bad. Doubt the bad. And that will help you be more nice to each other and to other people. Have a good week. I'm gonna pick some of these yummy tomatoes that are ready to be harvested. I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Should I jump into him? Ready? That hurt. Okay, turn it.